Good afternoon, folks. Dr. Nels here. I want to visit with you today about coaching. And I've come to this term coaching versus leader to a certain degree because I believe if you're leading people, at the end of the day, you're simply a coach. And as I work with businesses, organizations, and coach them on leadership things, it's the mindset I'm trying to take those people to. I'm trying to shift them from leadership, although leadership is wonderful, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get them to be coaches, and it's a total shift in mindset to a certain degree, because we want you to think in your brain, I'm, I'm a coach. I'm coaching these people, we're coaching them here at work, we're coaching them how to execute the daily details of their job, we're also coaching them to be a better person. We're coaching them to be a better person here at work, at home, as a husband, as a wife, as a child, as a parent. That's what we're trying to do and we're coaching them. And I always tell people it's no different than your children. We do the same thing with our children. We're coaching our children. We're putting our hands on them physically or intangibly. We're coaching them. We're trying to mold their mind, mold their brain, so that when they graduate high school and we push them to achieve greater things beyond high school and to do great things, whether it's college, technical school, being an entrepreneur, we're coaching them. And that happens daily conversations, not just once a year sit down conversations, conversations that happen every day. We're coaching our children. We do that. In our, in our family, it's the Lindbergh way. We're Lindberghs. This is how we behave. This is what we do. We love people. We care for people. We help people. We try to make an impact on someone that can never repay us. There are ways we do things as a Lindbergh family. And the same thing happens at work. See, people try to separate work and home. And I believe it's just the opposite. It's all the same. It's all intertwined. Now, is there a degree of separation that has to occur? Absolutely. But if you're leading a group of people and the people that you're leading don't get the feeling that you care for them and their family, you want better for their family, if they don't believe that you want that for them, you will never be an effective leader for them and you will never get out of them their best daily efforts. So they're no different than our kids. Think about it as a coach, we're there to coach our people, we're there to help them, we're there to help them at work, in their times of need, we're there to help them with their people, with their family, we're there to challenge them, we're there to demand excellence, because that's what we all should be doing, right? Demanding ex excellence, trying to grow relationships with them so they can be happier in life. So think about yourself as a coach. We're all coaches, we're all leaders, we're all coaches. Shift your mindset from just leadership thoughts, but to coaching, to sit down with people across the table, one-on-one, -on -one, side by side in a chair, just talk to them, coach them. Hey, you're not getting this done how we want to do this. This is what we do here, this is what you're not doing. We need you to step up to the plate and do those things. Have those simple conversations every single day and you will make progress. Coaching versus leadership, shift your mindset, think of yourself as a coach, things will change for you, I promise you. If you like this content, click here. We want more subscribers to help grow our reach and impact. That's the way the algorithms work, as you all know, on social media and YouTube. We want to reach more people because we simply want to help more people. Cheers. Thank you.